Hi and welcome to my channel. So in this video, I'll be designing a file down project which primarily makes use of the Arduino Uno at Mega 328. So I want to develop a program that can receive a text file from the PC and then I should be able to change that text file and then send that changed text file back to my PC and display it on the serial monitor. So just to break it down, initially when I power up my program, the text file will be displayed on the serial monitor on the Arduino IDE. And at the same time, on my LCD screen, I'll be able to read that the file has been detected. When I then press the first push button, I should be able to change the text file. And on my LCD screen, I'll be able to read that the change has been implemented. When I then press the second push button, I should be able to send that change text file back to my PC. And on my LCD screen, I'll be able to read that the file has indeed been sent to the PC. Lastly, I should be able to read the change text file on the serial monitor and observe it. So now let's get to building the actual project. So I'll be making use of the following components. The Arduino Uno Atmega 328, two 10K ohm resistors, two push buttons, a buzzer, jumper wires and connecting wires, and lastly, an LCD screen with an I2C module attached to it. So this is what the I2C module looks like at the back, and it has four basic connections, ground, VCC, SDA, and SCL. And I just love using it because it just makes my connections a whole lot simpler. So I started off by connecting my positive and negative rails of the breadboard together. And next I'm going to connect my 5 volts from the Arduino to the positive rail of the breadboard. And ground of the Arduino will be connected to the negative rail of the breadboard. Next I'll connect my I2C module. So ground of the module will be connected to ground of the Arduino. VCC to 5 volts. SDA will be connected to analog pin A4 of the Arduino. And SCL will be connected to analog pin A5. Next, I'll connect my buzzer. So I've already connected the positive leg, which is the longer leg, to analog pin A3 of the Arduino. And the negative leg, which is the shorter leg, will be connected to ground. And now for my buttons. So the first push button is the button change, which will change the text file. And the second push button is the button send, which will send the changed text file back to the PC. So I'll start off by connecting the first leg of button change to VCC via a 10K ohm resistor. And its second leg will be connected to ground. Next, I'll connect its third leg to digital pin number 7 of the Arduino. I'll do the same connection for button send, except its third leg will be connected to digital pin number 8 of the Arduino. So I'm just going to quickly run through the program and I've attached it in the description below. So I started off by including my liquid crystal I2C library and then I went on to declare a couple of variables. So the first two variables are for my button change and for my button send which I've assigned to digital pin 7 and 8 respectively. I also went on to assign my buzzer to analog pin A3. And then these variables I made use of in my button function. And the main purpose of this button function is to check whether the push button has been pressed or not. In the button function, I started off by making read button state, which I declared as an int variable, to be equal to digital read button pin. And so therefore, read button state is equal to the value of the specified digital pin. And then I made use of conditional statements. So the first statement says, if read button state is equal to button state, and button state in this case is my variable name, and its data type is bool. So button state can either be true or false. So if read button state is equal to button state, then delay 10 milliseconds. And this accounts for switch bouncing. And if after 10 milliseconds, read button state is still equal to button state, then return true, else return false. So in void setup, I started off by initializing my pin modes. So I set both of my buttons to be inputs and my buzzer and output. And in my void setup as well is where my raw text file sits. So initially it reads I, your name, and that's where I'll fill in my name. Love tinkering Arduino projects. My goal for the year is, and that's where I'll fill in my goal. So in my void loop, I made use of switch case statements. And the first case, case zero, is where after I power up my program and the text file is displayed on the serial monitor, I'll receive a message on the LCD telling me that the file has been detected. After three seconds, my LCD will instruct me to press the first push button to change the text. I'll then move on to the next case where there's an if statement and this if statement checks whether the button change has been pressed or not. And if that's true, then it executes the rest of the code. 
So on my LCD screen, I'll be able to read that the change has been implemented. And after three seconds, my LCD will instruct me to press the second push button to send the change text file back to the PC. And then there's another if statement which checks whether button sent has been pressed or not. And if it has been pressed, then on my serial monitor, I'll be able to read the changed text file, which now reads, I, CJ, love tinkering Arduino projects. My goal for the year is to be happy. And at the same time, on my LCD screen, I'll be able to read that the file has indeed been sent to the PC. After 5 seconds, my program will restart, allowing me to redo the process all over again. And with that said, it's time to test. So when the program is powered up, I can see that the file is detected. The first instruction that I receive is to press the first push button to change the text file. And if I press it, the change is implemented. The next instruction I receive is to press the second push button to send the change text file to the PC. And if I press it, I can see the file has been successfully sent to the PC. After 5 seconds, the program should automatically restart on its own. So that'll be it for this video. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. And thanks for watching.